Hi, my name is Nitin, and I'm going to be talking to you about a man named Grant Imahara. He was a very successful engineer and the person I looked up to the most. Uh, but sadly, he just recently died of a brain aneurysm, which is pretty upsetting. But I'm going to be telling you some of the inventions and the projects that he worked on when he was alive. So, one of the first projects that he ever worked on was called the Home of the Future, in which he created a house that had 5G technology and was intelligent. It used state-of-the-art technology and everything was interconnected to a central hub in which you could easily control every device. Imagine if every house nowadays had the capability to talk to each other. That'd be so cool. He also built the Star Wars robot C-3PO and R2-D2 in which he was the main engineer and mechanic behind them. This is so cool to me because I love Star Wars and C-3PO and R2-D2 are among my most favorite characters. Knowing that he created them makes me want, uh, one of my most favorite person. He also was a coach of the first LEGO League team, in which first LEGO League is a LEGO competition in which you have to work together with your team to accomplish tasks and goals. His team placed third in the nation, which is a huge accomplishment. My team can't even place third in the region, which shows how much how good his team was. He also was a co-host of Mythbusters and the White Rabbit Project, in which Mythbusters and what those two shows are among my most favorite. In which Mythbusters they test myths that can be true and see if they are possible. And in the White Rabbit Project, they go back and look at famous inventions and rank them. He also worked on famous movies like The Terminator, Jurassic Park, and The Matrix. He designed the parts that contain engineering as well as the CGI elements. He led advancements in the technological world that no one has ever seen before. So that's why it was so sad that when he died. He could have accomplished so much more if he didn't. So that's it about Grant Imahara. I hope you can see why I appreciated him so much. So if you want to read any of the blogs that I've written, you can read and call on nitromine.com in which I tell about my experiences during a course called the Global Entrepreneurial Experiences and how to be a better entrepreneur. Or if you want to just contact me or have any questions, you can reach me at nitinkrish101 at gmail.com. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video blog. Have a nice day.